Well, good morning. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've published a, a video on YouTube of me photographing some fungi. So, at the moment the sun is shining. Um, I'm going to take a walk through my local woodland. Uh, the woodland is Tiddersley Wood near Pershaw in Worcestershire. Um, you don't have the greatest variety of fungi in here, or well, not that I've seen anyway, but uh, we'll have a go, we'll have a wander around, see what we can find, and I'll, um, I'll video myself taking my usual pictures. So let's see what we can find. Right, well, I'm back in my local woodland. Um, I've taken a short walk in and I've just found not the most spectacular pieces of fruit and body, um, but I found two fruit and bodies nonetheless, coming out of an old coppice stump. Um, they're a bit old, a bit decrepit, but we'll take a couple of pictures of them anyway. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'll take a couple of pictures, one of the fruiting body that's closest to me and then one of the fruiting body that's furthest away from me. I've set the camera up on a tripod um, because I'm going to overlay the images on Photoshop um, and then combine them to get one sharp image but at the same time I'm throwing the background out of focus. So I'll pick the, the, the focal points up on this lovely moss and everything else will be nicely out of focus. Um, so let's have a go. Let me put my glasses on because I can't see. So I'm just going to zoom in on that front fruiting body. Uh, now I'm on manual focus and at the moment let's take it um, we're on aperture, we go on 5.6 and a shutter speed of 15th of a second and I'm on ISO 160. So I focused on the front fruiting body over there and I'm just going to adjust the focus to get it as pin sharp as I can. And that's pretty sharp. Now I'm going to go on a timer because I don't want to press the camera shutter release and, and shake the camera. So let's go. 10 seconds self timer. Press OK. Check the focus again. That's sharp enough. Countdown, 10 seconds. And there we go. Now I'm going to move on to the second fruiting body. Just zoom in on my screen. Adjust the focus. That's nice and sharp. Take another picture. Counting down. And there we go. Now I'll just see if I can reposition the GoPro so you can actually see what I'm doing on the screen. Okay, so we're lined up on the front fruiting body. We're gonna zoom in. At the moment, can you see that's out of, you probably can't see, but it's out of focus, so. We'll just bring it in, just so it's nice and sharp. Press the shutter release. Oh, I'm not on self timer. That's annoying. It's something. Self timer. Press OK. Right, we'll do that again. And 
just to focus. That's nice and sharp. Press the shutter release. Taking care not to wobble the camera. So there's the one image. And I'm just going to focus on the second fruit and body now. Let's zoom in a bit. Can you see that's not sharp? That's lovely and sharp. Press the shutter release, counting down. So basically when I go back home, I'll have two images. I'll align those images um, in Photoshop because even though the camera's on a tripod, you know, there might be some discrepancies. So align them. When they're both aligned, then I'll overlay the two images and hopefully we'll have a nice picture of two fruiting bodies with the background lovely out of focus. Job done. Now I love getting, getting in amongst this in the woodland. Um, yeah, you're, you know, it's better if you stay on the paths, but um, it's nice to stray off piste every now and again. And what I'm looking for are these old coppice stools. So if you get a fruiting body on a, on a coppice stool, it means generally means you can get the camera down a little bit lower and um, you know you can get sort of an upward shot and maybe illuminate the fruiting body. Uh, here's one right in front of us. So there's an old coppice stool, looks like a hawthorn. Um, again, it's getting a little bit late in the season. Can we see that just there, that little fella there? I think we'll set up and we'll, we'll have a go at taking this picture. Um, there's one there, but that one's a bit sort of clothed and eaten, but that's quite pretty. I quite like that. So we'll get set up and uh, we'll have a go at taking this picture. So have a think about which direction you want to take the picture. Um, you can remove a few leaves and do a bit of um, uh, housework, tidy up the picture, tidy up the background, whatever you want to do. Um, I reckon it might be nice taking it in that direction. It's a bit light behind me because we're on the edge of the woodland and uh, it won't look so nice. So it's just started to rain, unfortunately. So I'm going to put my lens hood on. quite nice. It might look nice. Uh, let me just grab the camera and I'll show you what I'm seeing. Should be able to see that all right. Yeah, you've got a little spider, little spider's web. And again, we'll have to do a couple of shots. One at the front of the uh, fruiting body and one at the rear and then that'll pick up the the spider's web as well, so that'll be nice. And we might be able to do a bit of illumination on this one, but we'll have a go. Right, let's do it. So, again, I'm going to zoom in. I'm still on 5.6, 15th of a second. Get the focus on the front part of the fruiting body so it's nice and sharp. I can hear the rain starting to absolutely chuck it down there. Self timer so we don't have any wobble or camera shake. And let's try a bit of a bit of torch work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just illuminate that top part of the fruiting body. Have a bit of a dry run. Uh, 
Yeah, I will give it a go anyway. It's nice to experiment. So, press the shutter speed, illuminate. There we go. So let's go at the back of the fruiting body now. Nice and sharp. Put my little 99p torch on. Little bit of illumination. And boom. So again, I'll, I'll run that through with the GoPro pointing at the screen so you can see what I'm seeing. So, it's going on the front of the fruiting body. You can see that's out of focus. Let's just sharpen him up a little bit. Let's press the shutter speed. A little bit of illumination. And that's taking the picture. Again, let's zoom in. Let's have a look at the back of the fruiting body. Let's get that nice and sharp. Let's press the shutter. And you can see there the extra bit of light sort of picks out the detail of the fruiting body. And it should look really pretty. Now what we could do is we've got two other fruiting bodies there. It'll be nice. Can you see that little fella there? It'll be nice to, to get that sharp. Let's just put a bit of light on it. That looks quite pretty. So we'll take a picture of that. A little bit of light. And there we go. You can't see the other one, I don't think. No, it's not quite in shot. Um, so, usual thing, I've taken three images. So, we'll go back into the back home. We'll align those images so they're all on top of one another and they're perfectly aligned. Once they're aligned, I can, can then merge the three images um, so we have two, hopefully, very nice, sharp, illuminated fruiting bodies. And that's that. Let's hope this rain stops. You might think, what's the... Um, ooh, I'll get those on the way back. What's the fascination out of um, coming to Woodland and taking pictures of fruiting bodies? Um, good question. To me, it's, uh, it's about relaxation. Um, it's downtime, it's being at one with nature, it's switching off, um, switching off to everything in the busy, horrible world that we live in at the moment. Um, it's not so much the final picture, um, yeah it's nice if you get a final picture, um, it's more about the experience of getting that picture. Um, to walk in amongst this woodland, woodlands that haven't been, you know, too messed about with, completely natural. Let me turn the camera around and show you where I'm walking. We've got a messy woodland floor, we've got fallen trees, we've got decaying wood. It hasn't been cleaned up, it hasn't been sanitized. It's, it's absolutely lovely. I mean, look at the size of that old copy stall there. Absolutely magnificent. Uh, these woodlands would have been worked many years ago. Worked quite hard, you know, woodlands were, uh, they were people's back garden once upon a time. 
people would be in here they'd be coppicing they'd be felling trees there would have been saw pits in this woodland wood would have been processed there would have been rides carriageways ways to extract all this sawn timber um, and obviously that doesn't happen so much now so you do get these neglected coppice stalls and occasionally they fail which is a great shame um, it's better it's much better to have a working woodland one that's recoppiced it's a much healthier woodland than uh, one that doesn't hasn't seen uh, much activity in a very long time but anyway we shall continue the search most of the fruiting bodies I'm seeing are all the same uh, I can't recall the actual name of them um, but they're quite nice but I do apologize if all you're getting is pictures of the same fruiting body anyway let's turn the camera around and uh, you can enjoy a bit of my walk and say so, footpath there we'll keep off that footpath we'll go into the middle and I'm looking for old stumps old wood slightly raised if possible to get the camera underneath and we just continue oh sun's coming out now that's rather nice and you can completely switch off when you're in here you totally switch off Well, it stopped raining and I've, I've crouched down. Um, got another, ugh, again, not the most photogenic pair of fruiting bodies you've ever seen, but um, it's yeah, nice, nice woodland setting. Uh, let me put the camera on and I will show you what I'm seeing. Um, there we go. Can you see that? And there's the two little fruiting bodies. So we'll stay here for a bit, have a bit of a play around, see what we get. Nice autumnal colours, nice. Yeah, you got the yellows and the browns and the dark brown of the decaying wood. So yeah, it's, just a, it's a nice place to, to stop and chill out and mess about with the camera and take a few pictures. See what we get. Right, let's put my glasses on. <coughs> So one mic. Let's go. 4.5. That's quite nice. Again, I'm going on oh, manual focus. Let's zoom in. Let's get that fruit and body as closest to the camera. Nice and sharp. Put it on self timer. Countdown. That's one. Let's find the other fruit and body. Zoom in. Get it nice and sharp. I'm just picking up the gills. The gills are a good indicator. The gills are sharp and it should look should make a nice picture. Countdown. And there we go. So I'm zooming in. Checking that focus, he's nice and sharp. Counting down. And we'll find the other fruit in body. Zoom in.
focusing on the girls finding that sharp point calm down and take the picture so hopefully by the time we've aligned those two pictures and put one on top of the other we'll have a nice autumnal shot another, another lovely old ash coppice Would have been worked many, many, many years ago. And over here, we've got the remnants of a, an oak coppice. Well, it's two separate oak trees now. Well, one, one oak tree, two main stems. That's the remnants of an old coppice that would have been worked. Absolutely lovely. But one day, one day, that will fail. It's got brown rot in the middle of it. Um, that's why these coppices need to be reworked. So we don't lose them. Uh, right, where's my camera bag? Oh, there it is. So we'll continue having a bit of a wander around. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of heading back towards the car now. But you never know, we might find something else. Enjoying our peaceful walk amongst nature. One thing I don't do, I don't pick fungi. Um, you know, fungi's there for a reason. It's it's you know, it's decaying. It's decaying wood. Well, that's nice. Look there. That is very pretty actually, that one especially. Again, it's an old rotten coppice stall. And the fungi just feeding off the nutrients. And they're putting those nutrients back in the soil. Obviously they're, they're creating spores. And, uh, and those spores are getting carried on, on the air. And uh, hopefully find some more dead wood to feed on and if we pick it and take it home um, it's not going to do that I saw a post on it was on Facebook um, yesterday I think it was and uh, someone didn't know what species fungi it was so they picked it anyway brought it back home put it on the picnic bench on the patio took some photographs of it and put it on social media asking what it was um, well, you know, why, why pick it in the first place? It's a bit daft if you ask me, but, um, you know, hey-ho, all I do is find it, photograph it, publish it, if the picture's any good, and, uh, and that's all. I leave it there, in place. Nice old pine trees in here. These were planted by the Forestry Commission many years ago. And the uh, Worcestershire Wildlife Trust are gradually removing the pines and turning the woodland back to broadleaf, which is great. It supports much more habitat. We found a path, right? We'll walk along the path for a bit. Let's have a change. So, on my way back now, there's a nice example of natural bracing on an oak tree. See how the we got twin stemmed, twin stemmed oak coming up. We've got a branch branching off to the right. 
and it's actually fused there. So we call that a natural brace. Duncan Slater will be really getting all excited about that. So there you go, natural bracing. And, uh, and our wrists now, we know now to, if we come across natural bracing, to obviously keep it. Because um, it's, you know, it's doing a job, it's bracing those two stems together. So um, if you spot it, you leave it. So obviously if we cut that bracing off, it would substantially weaken both of those two stems and it might result in failure. So there you go, natural bracing. <clears throat> well, there we go. Uh, survived the rain, just. Um, took three, three sets of images of three different types of fruit in body or fungi. Uh, we'll go back home um, give me a bit of a process, like I said previously, we'll, um, took two or three images of each particular fungi, uh, we'll align those up, even though I use the tripod, and once they're aligned, I'll overlay the images in Photoshop, and the idea is we get nice, clear, crisp images of the fruiting bodies, with a nice blurry background. Um, I'll put the images up on the end of the video, if they're any good. So, if you like the video, don't forget to press like and subscribe if you can, that'd be wonderful. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.